By Mayor Javid Anfar, the Iran lecturer at the Interdisciplinary Center in Herzliya. Uh, Mayor, thanks for being with us as always. Now, uh, on this now revealed Zarif tape here, more than intriguing for you to, to hear this from Zarif, does it reveal something that we didn't know about the regime? Well, um, to be honest with you, David, um, since, I've joined, since I've been working with I-24 for more than four years, um, one of the key points that I've emphasized on is that in Iran you have a dual system of government and the regime, the regime being the deep state, and that the government is subservient to the deep deep state. And these uh, these remarks by Zarif uh, confirm that. Uh, it just confirms that he does he that the people's representatives in Iran. Uh, even though the elections are very limited, uh, they don't have much of a say. And uh, this just confirms what was known. But it's going to undermine, I think, first and foremost, it's going to undermine Russia. Because until now, uh, the Islamic Republic has blamed Israel and Saudi Arabia for the, for the lack of success of, uh, of the JCPOA. But now we know that Russia also wanted to uh, undermine it. It also undermines the whole system by showing it to be uh, basically, an un, uh, un, run by unelected group of people who are not answerable to the public, and I think this is going to hurt the turnout uh, in the upcoming Iranian elections in June. Yeah, I believe part of the set of comments there revealed in these tapes had to do with uh, Zarif saying that their intervention in Syria was largely pushed by Vladimir Putin and the Russians here, that it really brought Iran in as to be their sort of ground forces here. Does, do you think any of that has an impact? How does the Iranian public look at the ongoing war in Syria? Well, David, um, I think an overwhelming number of Iranians um, uh, don't agree with it. Uh, my answer doesn't. My answer doesn't rely on uh, on uh, you know on uh, surveys in Iran because there's no survey done on this such a, such an issue. So what? Do, so how do I know that the majority of Iranians are against Iran's involvement in Syria? Because the Islamic Republic does not allow any public debate about Iran's involvement in Syria. In the newspapers, there's nothing. They censor everything. One Iranian official, former Iranian official, Karbaz Chi, who was the former mayor of Tehran, once said that Iran should not be helping Assad militarily. And I think he got one year sentence in prison, even though he was suspended, I'm not sure. But he was convicted. So this goes to show that the majority of people of Iran are against it, number one. And number two, Zarif's remarks show that the government, again, is completely ineffective uh, when it comes to important policies such as uh, such as Iran's involvement in Syria. One other point, if I can add quickly, David, sure. his remarks also show that this argument that I used to back long ago, but I changed my mind, that uh, reaching deals with Iran empowers the the, the moderates. It goes to show it doesn't. It's not valid anymore because we saw that, as Zarif says, after the JCPOA. They significantly improved their assistance to the Syrian regime. Now, on these uh, ongoing nuclear talks with the United States here, are they adding pressure to the regime so far or already relieving it in some way? What, what impact is that having? I don't think it's going to have impact on the talks. I think this is more domestic policy, domestic politics oriented in Iran. I think uh, Biden will, will reach the JCPOA as we can see it already. I don't know why Yossi Cohen is going to. To, uh, to Washington, I think, would have saved a lot of taxpayer money by not flying there, because the Americans have already made our, their mind up. Um, and, uh, I don't, you know, uh, the Americans have their own considerations. The Iranians have their own considerations. They, they have a common... Uh, what, what brings them together is that they both want to return to the JCPOA. But, of course, David, this is not the end of the story. Uh, the, Mr. Uh, Mr. B President Biden is, I'm sure, very well aware that after the, re the JCPOA is reached, it doesn't mean Iran is going to be a moderate state, because, as we can see, the government doesn't have much say. So we are likely to see uh, in, in continuation of or increased Iranian uh, activity in the region against Israel and Saudi Arabia. But uh, that's something that we've learned to confront, and we'll have to confront uh, even more forcefully. And I think the actions of the regime will bring more sanctions upon it. Because as we can see, as Zarif said, the IRC doesn't want Iran to come out of isolation. Yeah, Jeff Adonfar, as always, appreciate your time with us.